opponent, accompanied to the ring by Valhalla, representing the Viking Raiders, Ivar! So you said earlier, 635 pounds going against each other in this matchup. This is how this match came about earlier today. Did you really think you could take on Ivar? Huh? Pathetic. The fact that you're still standing means that my job isn't finished. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there a problem here, big man? All right, I'm with me and you in the ring tonight. Oh yeah, nice yeah. and live, full of carnage. It is official! That was interesting. So Tazawa has a death wish, we've learned that, and now Otis is gonna take up for Tazawa in this matchup against Ivar of the Viking Raiders. Tazawa, for some reason, continues to get into Ivar's face. Has he not learned his lesson? He's got a bit of the R-Truth syndrome about him as Tozawa in, in the case that he, he kind of is completely divorced from reality. Yeah, yeah. He can take on some of the biggest and baddest superstars such as Ivar. But Tozawa is actually in the Alpha Academy, not pretending to be. That is true. Although he's a pupil, I don't think he's a fully qualified and accredited member as of yet. Uh, oh, it is. And Ivar now. A heavyweight battle here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Ivar has been oh. so impressive in singles action. Nice moves there. Well, initially some nice moves with that spinning back elbow, followed by some sort of truffle shuffle that I did not appreciate. And now Ivar sit down Otis. Well, this really is the evolution of this big man style here in WWE. This incredible movement of guys as big as this. Take another look at the sweeping ability of Ivar crushing the sternum of Otis. A very uh, distinct physical styles between Ivar and Otis in this matchup. Meanwhile, Ivar has Valhalla in his corner and Maxine and Tozawa in the corner of Otis. Interesting that Valhalla doesn't have the antlers tonight. The horns. Horns, whatever. And now Otis trying to fight back into this matchup and gain some momentum. Ivar, though, with the knee in the midsection. Ivar has been so impressive. Since his tag team partner Eric went out with injury. Oh! Spoilers! Oh, the world's strongest slam! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Get a kick out! How the hell do you catch a flying Ivar? Take another look at this. In a million years, I didn't think that would be possible. Wow! That actually caused caused you to lose your voice tonight. <laughs> I've been in, inhaling helium like Michael Cole in the advert break. And Otis now second row. Ivar. Quickly, yes, quickly, made it back to his feet. Now delivers the uh, right hands to the spine. Oh, anything you can do, I can do better, pal. A 330-pounder up high. Ivar now marching across the ring with a sit-out power bomb. Cover now. And somehow Otis got the shoulder up. These two men are simply not used to being treated like their opponent is treating them in this matchup. Big guys, they like to feel special. But you meet another big guy, suddenly you don't feel so special. The only way to fix it is to flatten it. Like that. Hey, wait, these aren't like your grandfather's big guys. These are <laughs> agile big guys. We only find the biggest, the best, and the baddest. And now Otis. Is he trying to do a hockey talk man there? I have no idea. I hope we never see it again. Well, he is going to do this, though. The Caterpillar. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Cover. Kick out! Well, they don't show you that in Viking training school. That much I can promise you. How do you teach Otis to do the caterpillar? Like, seriously. I mean, personally, if I was his coach, I would not have chosen that particular move for this particular individual. Well, it's pretty effective, though. Ivar barely uh, kicking out. And now Ivar blocking the... And now a big haymaker thrown by Otis. Boot by Ivar. Look at the agility of Ivar. And a big spinning heel kick. Suddenly the fun and games have all ground to a screeching halt. So that's a 300-pound man that just delivered a cartwheel into a spinning heel kick. And now he's going to climb to the top rope. We've seen this before, Cole. Utter devastation if he connects with this doom salt. From the top rope. Oh, Valente's cover. Ivar in 
press him again. Here is your winner, Ivar! The Viking gods are satiated and Akira Tozawa will be wisely advised to get the hell out of that ring. Well, you got to appreciate the moxie of Tozawa, but you might want to think twice about that. That's no moxie, that's insanity. I'm big, little man! You are big, Ivar. Real big. He's big, he's vicious. There was a bloodthirsty matchup despite all the fun and games, and this is what changed everything here. This Bang. connection to the jaw of Otis, and there was no answer for, the, for this huge 330 pound top rope doom salt that has flattened everything in its path thus far. And Ivar is climbing the ranks in the singles division. You see what I did to Otis? You're just a little, little, little man. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest at this time, main event, Jay Uso. What's up, Jay? Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Listen, 2024, it's kind of a different vibe for you, right? It's the first time in a long time that you're going into a new year solo, yeah. no bloodline. Yeah. Do you have any resolutions? Uh, yeah, uh, New Year. Yeah, I got a uh, resolution right here. Jackie, yo, your boy's about to get his first ever WWE Singles Championship this year in 2024, year of the new yeet, you know what I'm saying? Yeet master in the game. I'm getting it. I'm getting it this year, Jack. I don't Yay. know what you're talking about. Uso. <laughs> Jimmy Uso's little brother. <laughs> Look, you're not the only one with plans to become a champion in 2024. So my advice, Uso, don't get in the way. Well, after weeks and weeks of torturing the American nightmare, Cody Rhodes with sadistic mind games, the sinister 